Hello friends, how is everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm Sherry and this is uh, Turquoise Dreaming is my channel. And I'm here to work on uh, my Halloween journal that I've been working on the last week or so. And so uh, I think that you all did the, pretty much did the signatures with me. And so those are done now. I might add one more page, but not today. Today I wanna to work on pockets and things like that and add some of my trims and uh, things from bbcraft.com. I got a few products from bbcraft and uh, this velvet ribbon was one of them. And the uh, other, another one was this orange rickrack. And perfect for Halloween, right? <laughs> or fall. And then this green leaf trim, it's so pretty. Green leaves. So I've used it a little bit on the pages so far, which we did in my last bit video for BB Craft. And so today I want to add some to pockets and I was thinking I would add some to this little, little uh, paper bag here too. So let me grab my little glue pad here, or what I'm calling my glue pad. It's just a little um, cutting board or cutting mat from Dollar Tree that I use to protect my surface here. So yeah. Um, so uh, I was thinking I'd put a little piece of this trim here on this bag and I thought that would just really give it a nice extra little ump here. And so, yeah, so you can just use these types of trims really in so many ways, but I thought I would use them on pockets and things today. But yeah, I will have all these products linked below <clears throat> as well as the BB Craft website. So if you'd like to go and check out uh, the website they have thousands of craft items and craft supplies so uh, yeah if you need something or if you just want to check it out in case you need something in the future I have a coupon for you in my description box too it's my name with the number five sherry five and it's five dollars off forty dollars or more also if you like to um, do what I'm doing if you have a loop YouTube channel and you'd like to be a member of BB crafts YouTube uh, program I'll have that link in the description box and you can apply to their program and then if you're accepted they will uh, let you pick out forty dollars approximately forty dollars worth of goodies craft supplies <laughs> and uh, you do uh, an unboxing video for them in exchange and two demonstration videos so isn't that cute doesn't add a nice touch to this bag I mean it's already cool because it's Halloween and uh, so now if I want to glue it down it'll look something like this isn't that cute okay so that is I'm gonna let let that dry now I want to see if I did I make any other pockets in here or do I need to make pockets I haven't looked at it in a few days so I kind of have to remind myself of what I did so far let's see oh here's a pocket right here and it's very plain, as you can see. It's just a fold, little fold up, but it can be a pocket. So let's uh, glue that down. And maybe we'll add some leaf tr trim. So this would go all the way across, of course, on this page. So let's, let's glue this down, and then we'll add some of that leaf trim. I may add other things later, but right now I'm just uh, going to add some of these trims. I just wanna start working on the, you know, pockets and just add whatever pockets I'm gonna add. Uh, maybe decorate the pockets. And then I'll probably sew in the signatures. So, this is a fun, this has been really fun so far and I, I love making this little Halloween journal, it's so fun. Okay, so let's get the leaves here. And let me see, do I wanna stretch it all the way across or separate? I think I'm gonna do it separate so I don't have to worry about the piece in the middle there like folding it or adding too much bulk. I'm gonna put it down right uh, down here. See, here's some holes from the track on this. This is like vintage uh, computer paper where it used, they used to have the track. So this is the track here. I'm gonna put the leaves below that track. That way it looks really neat. You can still see the holes and the little stems on the leaves won't get messed up. They won't be up up here where, you know, something could get caught on them. So let's cut this off. Yeah, I just cut this uh, wherever, you know, I want it to, the link to be. It looks like it does have a front and a back here, so I'm gonna make sure I glue down the back. 
and it also I believe in the listing it describes it as paper it doesn't feel like paper but it does say the word paper in the listing so I'm using because of that it having a paper maybe base I am going to use some art glitter glue and I did use this the other day when I put it on a page and it glued down just fine all right so that is nice so that way I just put glue in the middle here and I really don't feel like I have to have all every little piece glued down because it's down below where things would be going in and out in the little stems and everything won't get messed up okay so let's put another straight off of this one so it's even although this would be separated by another page so put enough glue on there to glue this down real good and do the other side let's see I guess I need, I need to cut another piece don't I It'll be about like this let's see let's cut this little sliver of a, of a leaf off here <laughs> so we don't start with just a sliver and then we'll go over here and cut I think I'm going to cut in between these two right here see how that does so I have stems up and leaves down kind of so I'm going to do it the same way on this page let me see if I can pull this over a little bit no no that's good okay and push them all down into the glue okay that is cute isn't that cute it, it's perfect for that little pocket too isn't it okay let's see so gonna, this is how it's going to look like this in the signature now oh here's another pocket right next to it okay this one I haven't glued it down yet either so let's do that this is braille paper so it's much thicker so I'm going to put some glue right over here and see how this glues this grip um, braille paper together I don't think I don't know if I've made I must have made pockets with this before but I haven't had this braille paper all that long so I might not even I think I used it as a page I just maybe haven't made pockets on it before so not sure how it glues to itself right okay so yeah that's gluing down just fine so far I'll let it dry but on here maybe we will use some of this purple I think that would be pretty and so we'll put a little line of purple right here that would be gorgeous <laughs> I'm going to cut this at an angle, like right where I have my finger or my thumb, right there. So that'll be for this side, and then one for over here. So it'll be, let's see, I put it down a little bit like from the top, like under this line of uh, shading, coffee, coffee shading there. So I'm just going to move it over to the edge. And about right there is where my angle will be this way and then over here I will cut about right there all right so let's I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac on these these as they are you know ribbon it's kind of like actually it's kind of like grogan grog grain on the back there's a like a ridge is there a ridge yep I think there is it looks like there's a ridge and I can feel it so it's a little textured and it's a ribbon on the back so that's fabric so let's put a line of this fabric tack right here like I said below the grant the grunge I'm gonna call it <laughs> yeah these are coffee dyed braille papers not too much but enough a little bit more right there almost look like there's a blank spot there okay that should do it this is probably what quarter of an inch wide and I've got the angle going there that we cut so it's even with the pocket you know right here and then we'll put that over there and that should be good yeah that feels good okay so that Fabri-Tac does work on this velvet ribbon so let's see I'm gonna go straight over from that and try to put this even with that side all right and 
right, that should do it. Okay, <laughs> that's, I probably will add more to that, but for right now, I'm just wanted to go through and like glue down the pockets and um, see if I have any extra Fabri-Tac on here. I don't want to glue my pages together. And uh, add some trims where appropriate. Okay, so we've got all the pockets in that signature. That's the first signature. Okay, so we used purple velvet, green leaves, and we used orange rickrack on that that uh, trick or treat bag. So the second signature is where the book pages are. The whole book is in the second signature, so it can be read easily. I did already use this trim that I got from Beauty Craft right here on this page as a pocket. So we did that on the last video, I believe. We added that pocket right here. So that worked out well. And then we have trims in this signature also like this on the pages. And uh, I think that I don't think there's any pockets in here. So. So we won't be adding any trims to any pockets. We just added the trims to the... I, I might want to add a pocket, but right now I'm going to go just take care of the pockets that we already have. And then I'll come back to this signature. Well, I do have this pocket, though. So it's not like I don't have any pockets, but we'll add tuck spots and things at least, too, besides that one big pocket. Okay, so here's the third signature. This I'm going to leave as a fold-out, so I'm not going to glue that down and make a tuck spot. And because I think that's the only fold out in here. Okay. So that is cool. Let's see. We've got some purple Astro Brights, and actually, we don't have any pockets in the second or the third signature. So let's uh, take this envelope. I think I'm going to put the envelope right here, and that way we'll have somewhere to tuck something into this third signature. So let's, I'm going to. Let's see how I want to do this. I think I'll actually put glue and make two pockets, one behind and one inside the bag. So I'm just going to put glue around the edges. And this will be a big pocket. So we can put some big, you know, tall drilling cards into this paper bag and in back of it. And this uh, has a purplish back background to it or base. So. I think it looks good here. Awesome. I love the rickrack on there. <laughs> that contrast between the orange and the purple is really cool. I mean, here's the orange pumpkin down here. So we have orange, like your eye can go here, orange, orange, and there's orange in the words. The skeleton has orange on his cheeks. And this cat has a little orange nose. So <laughs> super cute, I think. Okay, so let's get this glued down. That's awesome. Okay, so now we actually have two pockets here. Well, the black lace trim pocket and then a pocket behind here and a pocket right here. All right, that is cool. Okay, now uh, let's see. All right, let me move these up. Put my lids on my glue for a minute. While I'm looking for what else I want to put in here. I want to grab my scraps real quick from this journal. What do I have so far? Here's my project basket. Let's see what we have. I have this scrap, this scrap. Of course I have all the stickers. And that, I want, oh, I want to put this in there. And any more scraps? I think I have a, possibly another scrap. That's my project basket for this journal. And then this is my Halloween, <laughs> uh, what I store my Halloween in. So I just want to see if there's any scraps in here real quick. I thought I saw one in here earlier. Maybe, oh, here's one in here. Yeah, some, for some reason I put one in there. Okay, all right, got that. Okay, so let's do something with this. Okay, so where's that page? This was a page, and I did want to put some writing, like this is, you know, 
you could write on this ghost that would actually be cute if you were going to write you know if you like to write kind of do creative writing <laughs> creative create creative writing spots so i talked about this uh on the paper bag video that i did this week how to glue this down so i'm going to go ahead and glue right here so this is together because i needed to make this less you know the width less um and take it in so that this won't be too wide for this journal. But let's see how this turns out. I think it'll be cute though. <laughs> and it was a paper bag, a little, you know, Halloween gift bag. So that will be glued together. And then this will be glued together here. So I'll put some glue on here and glue that down. I've never uh, made a paper bag into a page before, so that was fun to do something different like that. I have made one into uh, a journal, a treat bag, not just a paper bag, but a gift bag into a journal cover. I did that a long time ago. And, okay, that seems like it's down. So now we have a page. I did need to even up this bottom and top right here. See how it's got a little white there? So I needed to cut that off. We noticed that the other night, remember? Uh, let's see, I might just, let me get, grab my paper cutter. Where is it? I wanna have, see, now I still have some stick in there. I just need a nice uh, straight slice there off the bottom with my paper cutter. I'm gonna grab it here. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how I can do this. So about right there, I'll get a nice, even, straight cut. All right, yep, there we go. See, that looks a lot better. <laughs> See that, how that, that nice that looks? Yeah, that's much better. Let me try to cut it with scissors, and this is the same thing. All right, so that one, get that white up in there, where I'm gonna cut, cut it off. Okay. So that's ready. That looks a lot nicer. See that? Very nice. Okay, let's get rid of this. And I'm going to grab some paper to put on the inside of that. I'm trying to decide if I should grab coffee dyed paper or what kind of paper I should grab. Something you can write on. Okay, so let's see. Open it up and it's going to be all glued all over here. So I'm gonna go grab something, I'll be right back. Okay, I have some paper. It's not, uh, what did I say, coffee dye paper? <laughs> it's not It's not coffee dye paper. I got something else. But I realized I needed to even up this right here, this little f flap, you know? It's all kind of from just cutting the bag apart. It's not straight, so I'm gonna even that up too real quick. Uh, let's see. Trying to make sure it's over the cutting line there. So we actually cut off something. Here we go. Now I have a straight line there. And then this side too. Okay, awesome. And now uh, the paper I got is this paper right here. It's just random paper, you know, that I pick up old paper and vintage paper that I pick up from thrift stores. So I got this piece right here. And I thought I would, I'm going to put it up to the fold and then I'm going to make these into tuck spots, little side tuck spots. So, uh, no, I don't think I need to put it up. I'm just trying to, um, yeah, I don't like it like that. I don't like it like that because it cuts off this column right here and it says date. Let me, I think maybe I want to cut off this part. It's too long anyway. So there's a little white part here. Let me cut that off. Why does this seem crooked here? <laughs> Is this paper crooked? It seems like it might be. I don't know. I'm going to put the line straight on the line where it cuts and then let the rest work itself out here <laughs> okay 
All right, yeah, that did work out. Okay, so then, you see how it's too tall, of course. And I don't want to put it this way because I want the lines to go this way. So I'm going to put it even with the bottom here where we just cut and took that little white part off. And I'm going to make a little fold here as to where I need to cut, but not across the whole thing. Just kind of right here so I know where to cut. Okay, so about right there. Well, let's do, I'm going to need two. Right, yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, put another piece over here because it's not quite wide enough. So let me cut these together. Yeah, I should have cut this one together. So let me cut this little white part off of this one. I just wanted to put writing paper on the back of here. I mean, I could, you could put um, Astro Brights on here too, you know, if you want orange or green or something, but then that's a little bit darker color, so that would be a little harder to write on, right? So that's why I'm going ahead and putting a, just something to write on on here, okay? So my fold that we just made is right here. I'm gonna cut right here and get this ready to put down. Okay. Is it on the yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so that's extra. Put that over there for a moment. And we'll get this going. So uh I guess I could go ahead and glue my Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize once I glue uh, the sides down as little tuck spots, I don't need a second piece of paper. Okay, hello. <laughs> Let's do it. That worked out well, right? It takes a minute to figure these things out sometimes, right? Like I said, I've never made a, a treat bag into a page before, plus every... Uh, treat bags are all different sizes too so you kind of just got to figure it out as you're going along and how it's going to measure up right so yeah that was funny I was like oh I only need one piece because at first I was thinking of putting it all the way over to here you know both edges and I was like but what if I once you fold these over it won't you know might not look right so I, that's why I decided to make these into tuck spots and then uh, you saw the rest <laughs> you saw the rest Oh, that is cute, isn't it? I like that. Okay, awesome. Well, that worked out well. So we have to glue all this down. And this will even up all this kind of... It's just the words, the bags, you know, we glued the bag together and everything. So in that part where we took off the handles and all that kind of stuff. So that will now get all evened out. So that's a really different kind of unique page that will be in here. I just don't want to glue my glue my tuck spots together, so I have to be careful not to get glue there under my tuck spot. Okay, I've got to get enough glue on here to glue this paper down, but not glue my tuck spot together. I think it'll be easier to put it on here than on that paper. So we're doing it. Try not to shake the table. I have my knee on the table and then when I'm moving around it shakes the table a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna get a little bit of glue in this right next to this flap that we glued down so I can make sure that's really glued down right there. Okay. If we need more we'll add more but I think that should do it. Okay so everything's upright. There are some words here and they are upright, so let's just put this down, even with the top, even with the bottom. Didn't that work out well? I can't believe it. <laughs> it worked out so well. There's my little tuck spot that is not glued together. <laughs> okay, let's move it all out here. This tuck spot is not glued together. And here's my little smoother adder. Let me grab that. See which side do I want? I'm 
I may need to glue some, uh, put some glue on the edges here. Just want to make sure this doesn't have any glue on it. As far as getting this paper dirty or anything, I messed up. Okay, that looks good. It's all nice and smooth now. Yes. And let me see the edges. I think they are down. Oops, that's my other phone. I've got it charging over there. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit right here in this corner. All right. There we go. That looks better. Now this one... Right here, I think I need some, maybe a little bit. It's just I have to be careful with that flap right there, right? All right, yeah, I don't know, I might not. <laughs> have to be really careful not to put any on the flap. Because if I do, we won't have a, not a flap, but a tuck, we won't have a tuck spot anymore because I'll be glued down. <laughs> all right, that is awesome. I love it. Okay, let's fold it in half and see what it looks like as a page now. Woo! Stand up, Lou. Okay, let's see the fold is right here. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then we open up. There's our writing space. If you see um, lines, it's the paper underneath where we um, made that that fold to fold down the gusset. So yeah. But it's, it's, you know, it was a bag and now it's a page, so there's liable to be some kind of uh, some residue from it being a bag, right? Like some kind of, like, something was there, you know what I mean? Type of thing, like, you can see where the handles were right here, you know, just a little kind of, you know, mark where the handles were. Okay, so I'm trying to remember which one had the most pages uh, of these two signatures. Let me feel them. I think uh, it's going to be in one of these two. I could count, but I think this one feels like it's got a little less pages in it. So let's put it back here. I can change it later. I'll count them. Oh, this is the perfect spot for it. We need some color right here. <laughs> Something different. Okay, there we go. We have our paper bag. Or, yeah, paper bag. Gift bag. Page. There it is. Okay. So, let's see, we have a flip out there. We can decorate this flip out. Let's see, do I want to put anything on there? Let me see real quick. We have, like, I don't have much time left here, but we could do something like this. And this would be pretty. Oh, that would be pretty. Look, next to the black. I think we have to do that. <laughs> I think we have to do that. That's gorgeous, actually. Okay, so I'm going to plan on doing that, even if I don't have time to do it right now. Uh, where do I need to cut? I'm going to cut about right there next to this little piece. About right here. And then do the second one, that one, for the other side. I always do both sides the same on a page. I mean, almost always, pretty much always. Okay, so then I'm going to cut another piece, same length. For the other side. So about right here. Let's see about right here. Alright. So that's another way we used this uh, BB craft trim. Let me get the little threads here off the page. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be really pretty. I'll use some Fabri-Tac to glue this down, and then I'll decide if I need to sew it uh, on there. But I might, if it if I if it needs it, I'll go and sew it on there. But if it doesn't, I might not. So, yep, that'll be pretty. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you uh, would like to check out BB Craft, don't forget about my coupon. Click on my links, use my coupon, and they'll know I know I sent you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Happy crafting.